It is your morning show. My name is Intern John. That is Riley. Rose Hello. is here as well. And um, you know, this is how this all has kind of come together. Uh, you know, I was given the um, the letter by our friend Sauce, and then I, I posted on social media. It's like if anybody knows uh, how to get a hold of of Ryan's family, would love to talk to them because I think that it, just to raise awareness, but also I think too it helps people to to in similar situations to hear and know there is positive. So I want to welcome on uh, Madison, who is Ryan's sister. Good morning, Madison. Hey. Hi, good morning. How are you guys? Uh, we're doing well, but good. first of all, I can't imagine. So your your brother posted this amazing cover letter in uh, February 27th, right? Correct, yeah. And so when did it really kind of go to the moon? Um, Honestly, it was just a, um, a few days later, within the week, um, I actually got reached out to by a girlfriend of mine. And she was just like, hey, have you seen this? It's gotten a couple thousand reactions at this point. And so I logged on to LinkedIn and then immediately, of course, called my family and was like, hey, we all know what this means, right? (laughs) And then from there, it really just snowballed. And I mean, we've been absolutely floored and really touched with the level of um, response that we've gotten from this. Well, we had talked before, too. So this whole thing started because... It's a handwritten letter, and I guess that that's handwritten letters are very important to your family. They are, yeah. I mean, it's kind of a dying trend, but yeah. there's nothing more powerful than something that's handwritten, a handwritten thank you note, um, a handwritten anything that goes really far, and it's kind of something that's lost now. So we definitely take that to heart. So is Ryan is he is he in school still? Like when's Ryan looking to to land this new job? So we've been talking with several different people. Um, Again, thank you to everybody who's reached out. Um, It really means the world to our family. And we're still in conversations and we'll keep you guys all up to date on his LinkedIn um, or via Instagram with any new progressions that come up. Well, in your brother's letter, I think too, Madison, it's just, it's so powerful and, Mm -hmm. and, and moving and it just it just makes you I realize and I think that, you know, the reason I appreciate you coming on and, and emailing with your moms I know there's a lot of families who are, are in a similar boat and to have I guess to have the story come out and bring light to the fact it's important um, absolutely absolutely so mm-hmm. I guess mm-hmm. Matt, if, if if there's a family out there maybe who who doesn't uh, know somebody living with autism like is there one thing you'd want to say to them just to kind of raise uh, awareness yeah sorry. Um, um, honestly, no outcome is a poor outcome. Um, everything about this and about autism is so positive. Um, I know that when you receive a diagnosis and for any diagnosis, this doesn't just go for autism, but, um, you're flooded with a lot of negativity up front, but it's truly a blessing. I mean, Ryan is the coolest kid ever, and we're just so excited that we're not the only ones who see that now. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. So well said. I mean, there's light in everything, wow. so that's kind of what I would say. So so according to his letter, he, he's into uh, animation, or wants to do that, either that or IT? Yeah. Oh man, okay. That, that what is a bright like, dude. Oh God, Honestly, yeah. I was. I, I just. Uh, I feel like this letter. He's way more poised than I was at his age. Especially for like, real. My animation's Absolutely. like Microsoft right? Paint. You can say that again. <laughs> oh yeah. So, um, and for Madison, I, I know I can't imagine like what the last you know, twenty four hours, especially been like for your family. And I apologize too because I I had a lot of people uh, who were trying to get hold of uh, you and your family. So. Certainly didn't mean to add to that, but I think this is an important story, uh, story to share. And I think you know, Ryan's an inspiration to you know literally millions of people. Yeah. It's really so cool to see the level of response that's come back. And don't say sorry. I mean, this is all cool and this is fun. And this further spreads the word of making, you know, I guess you can call it, everyone's calling it neurodiverse. I mean, everybody learns differently though, right? Sure. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't need to be filed into a different category. And so this type of story just further normalizes everything. And that's exactly what needs to happen. I love the so way you put that. Happens. Everybody yeah. learns differently, yeah. so this shouldn't be a different category. 100%. Well, and exactly. I, I think, yeah. that, Mass, and I speak for everybody when I say when Ryan owns a company, I hope that he cuts me slack <laughs> on everything. Okay, I John. Am not, I have no talent whatsoever. And just keep, <laughs> even the handwriting, I'm like, golly, I write like I'm six years old. You so. do. Me too. Oh, me too. Yeah. And I told him, I'm like, hey, yo, um, 
I'm moving into your mansion one day, so I just want you to know that I'm counting on that. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> no Absolutely. Pressure. No, it's, I mean, as long as you give them a heads up now, I think it's That's fair. Awesome. Like Now it's like you know, yeah, it's like a, a verbal contract. We're good to go. I have enough Ma- rooms. Madison, yeah. thank you so much for taking the time. And, and please you know, keep us updated, too, uh, on yes, job please. prospects. And I'll forward you. We've gotten a lot of people have reached out. So I'll forward you all those. Oh, really? And, oh, yeah. But, uh, somebody from oh, Lock- yeah. Lockheed reached out. So, the, you know. Fairly decent sized company, so um, we'll pass all these on to you and give our best to Ryan. I guess one last question: How is he handling this? So this has got to be like I couldn't imagine having all these eyes on you. It's got to be exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, I think right now we are just focused on you know making sure that we're handling this appropriately, and it doesn't. You know, we just want to make sure that it's saying to hey. We were just simply beefing up his LinkedIn profile and happy to talk to people. And we just want to spread the word about, you know, neurodiversity and benefiting everybody else. Because the one thing that we have seen come from this that we didn't expect was multitudes of people have commented on his post. Like, for instance, somebody with a TBI commented. And then from there, you know, there's a multitude of comments following it hey, I also have a TBI. Here's some more resources on this. And then it's kind of become this chain effect of different resources and people collaborating and further making you feel like, hey, you're not alone and we're not the only one in this. So we're all here together. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I think if the last year has taught us anything, (laughs) empathy is a very important thing. Madison, I I appreciate you guys taking the time and sending the best wishes to to your family. And again, when Ryan is uh, my boss, I hope he's... Yeah, gives me a couple of free passes for <laughs> various scripts I have. Yeah. Thank you thank you so much, Absolutely. Madison. We'll post this story up for us, too, but have a fantastic day and give Ryan, like, the biggest high five for us, okay? I will. Thank you guys so much for reaching out. We really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Have a great day. Now-